Hey everyone, it is late at night and I am Norman. I recently went to Miami and this was the first trip that I've actually taken where the whole point of the trip was watches. So my neighbor and a good friend of mine came to me about half a year ago, I think it was, and asked me if I wanted to go to a watch show in Miami. And even as a watch nerd, in my mind, I could give or take the watch show, but I really wanted to go to Miami. So of course I said yes. Unfortunately, we kind of slacked off and never actually finalized the plans. However, maybe a month before we had to leave, he was like, let's plan our trip. We haven't done that. Let's plan our trip to Miami. And my wife is a planner and was not happy at all. But she rearranged some clients, ordered plane tickets, and booked an Airbnb, a condo on South Beach, and it was time for my friend and I to get the tickets to the show. Unfortunately, tickets to this show were $300. And I had just sold a watch for about that much money and was like, nope, I am not doing it. I am not basically gonna throw a watch away to go to a watch show. No, that's ridiculous. However, my wife, because she had to cancel clients and already booked the plane tickets and everything, was like, you are going to the watch show. So I went over to my neighbor's house, kind of like a kid who just got in trouble. Just, oh, man, ugh. I don't want to do this. I don't want to blow basically an affordable watches worth to go look at watches at a show. I would rather just go to watch shops throughout Miami. But I went over there and it turns out that this show is not available to the public. So you have to join this group, this guild, this cult, whatever it was, some kind of a watch group. I mean, this was geared toward people who own businesses selling watches, I think, so that they can go and get really good deals on merchandise that they can sell. So once you've paid for your membership and you bought the tickets, you're looking at like $600. So at that point, my friend was like, no, 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 I'll go over there and we can tell your wife and I've got your back on this. So we decided that we would just go to Miami pick a day, hit Google Maps or whatever, and find a bunch of watch shops and just go look at watches in Miami. And I'm sad that I had to record this here in the studio. I wanted to do this from Miami because I don't know about you, but I personally kind of like vlog style videos where people get out of their studio and they're out and about in the world like Archie Luxury walking through Sydney or whatever. It's just kind of cool. It almost feels like you're out on vacation with them or something. However, on the last day there, our flight was changed and we had to get up very early the last day and leave. And our last night there, there was a windstorm, so I wouldn't be able to go out on the deck and record it and just kind of ended up giving up on that idea. So here I am. But the morning that we had to leave for Miami, we also had to get up very early. Uh, so we had to get up at four in order to get to the airport in time. And we got up, hauled all of our stuff out to the car. And when we got out there, our neighbors were already coming out with their luggage. And my Neighbor's wife loaded her luggage into the car and my neighbor was coming out with his and he had a huge bag, a huge backpack, another piece of luggage. And I was really curious because we were only going to be there three nights. So I was thinking he had some kind of bizarre surprise in mind or something like that. But it turns out that he actually got deployed like a night or two earlier to Chicago. And then after that, another six months, about two hours from his home. So he wasn't going to be able to come with us last minute. 
And of course we weren't gonna cancel. So my wife and I went with his wife. The condo was amazing. Um, it was a modern style condo right on South Beach. So uh, right across the street was the ocean. We could walk over there in a couple minutes and be on the beach. And we had like three decks and it was just really cool. So we spent our first night on Ocean Ave. All the restaurants there are super fun, uh, great music, fun lighting. Some of the Christmas stuff was still up in the area. And we just kind of randomly picked a restaurant and lucked out. Their food was phenomenal. And they gave us a free round of tequila shots. I mean, a round on the house, that's always great. And the next day, we were going to go into downtown Miami and check out the watch shops. So I pulled up maps and did a search and I found a cluster of watch shops in downtown and we took an Uber to the first one. However, as we're walking around, nothing that was on the maps was actually there. So the first shop that I had pulled up was a vintage watch shop, perfect, but it, it was nowhere where the map said it was. I never found that shop. So we went on to the next one that was on my list and it wasn't there either. In fact, maps showed a cocktail bar that looked kind of interesting and it was nowhere either. And all of this kind of makes sense because this area of Miami that we were in was under heavy construction. They were redoing everything there. So we decided to just walk up and down the blocks and see what watch shops we encounter. And we ended up only finding one and all the watches that they had in there were basically mall or cruise ship watches. So they had a bunch of Invictas, they had some Tissot PRXs, but only the 40 millimeters. And they had some insane diesels. So of course I had to get some footage with one of those on my wrist because I feel like that might have been the largest watch I've ever seen. There may be Invictas out there that are larger, but these diesels didn't have big bezels or anything. They were all dial, so they looked way bigger than they actually were even. Just absolutely insane, as you can see in the footage. So that was the only watch shop that I found in this area of downtown Miami. So we started searching around for malls. Maybe there'd be some shops there. And we found a mall that was right on the water. It was open air. And so we hung out there for a bit, uh, but there was just clothing shops there. So we kind of gave up on the whole endeavor of trying to find watch shops.
We went and had some Cuban food at a restaurant that came highly recommended. So one of my wife's clients is Cuban and her family lives in Miami. So she gave us a list of some restaurants and this one was phenomenal. And from there we went to Little Havana and saw all the sights there. My friend's wife had an amazing looking coffee there, and we went to a great cocktail bar, delicious drinks, good times. When we were at the condo, we watched Jaws because my wife was hoping to do some swimming in the ocean, so of course, you watch shark attacks before you do that. And the next night, we showed my neighbor's wife a horror movie because she never watches horror movies, so, so yeah, while she was in Little Havana, she got a cigar. And we showed her a horror movie, so we were corrupting her. But yeah, what I should have done, in hindsight, was search for places around where the cruise ships come into port. Because that, that's gotta be where all the watch shops are and stuff. And because the people that'd be shopping there are kind of impulse buying, you know, they're coming in off the ship and just seeing what's there. Chances are most of those shops wouldn't be by appointment only, so they would have been perfect. But yeah, I kind of screwed that one up a little bit. Miami was fun, and there was a topic that I wanted to cover in the last half of my video because I had read an article right before we left for Miami that kind of pertained to the trip. But... Since in telling this story, it was kind of lengthy, I'm going to split it up into two videos. So in two days, keep your eyes open for a video where I discuss an interesting topic that affects all of us and sort of pertain to this trip to Miami. But it was a great experience. I had never seen Miami before. And if I'm ever there again, I'm definitely going to check out the area right near the cruise ships. That's where I'm probably going to find watches. Thanks for watching.